Uh, okay, everybody, welcome. This is my, um, uh, I've, I've had a bit of a closer look at the, uh, at the ultimate, uh, ultimate two device. And, um, I was, uh, I had the idea of doing, um, uh, playthroughs of, uh, Bruce Lee, for instance. But then I figured uh, th that's not going to be much use if I can't save the game uh, halfway through. So, because I wanted to do it level by level and just save every uh, level that I complete so that you can um, see the progress. But I'd have to replay all the previous levels if I if I couldn't save. But I, um, someone said, I think it was Gary, uh, Gary said that I could. So I've been looking into the device a little bit further. Um, uh, the thing is... Uh, this is the only thing that I have for a manual. It's it's like a very. It's 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 a quick guide, and I I I did find some manuals, but um, for some reason uh, the website uh, for the for the device itself was down, uh, or at least the menu wouldn't work. So I couldn't find a manual there. So I'm I'm sort of winging it, um, and I'll show you what I've uh, what I've discovered so far. Uh, what I've done is I've, I've attached uh, a USB drive. Um, as you can see, the first thing that the card does is actually boot into the cartridge that you select. Inside the device there are a number of cartridges. Um, uh, if you can remember things like the final cartridge and the action replay and all those. Those are cartridges that you could buy and plug into your Commodore. There are a couple of images of those on the device and you can select actually which one it boots into when you turn it on it just acts like hey this is the cartridge you have and it immediately goes into there um, you can also select none and I'll show you how that works and uh, now the buttons the device has three buttons the left one is the is the freeze button the middle one is the menu button that goes into the the, the cartridge's menu and the right button is the reset button those are configurable, but I'm leaving them as they are. So I'm pressing the middle button now, and that brings me into the ultimate menu, which is the menu button. Um, as you can see, the SD card is there. I did take the liberty of uh, uh, sorting my games um, uh, to alphabet, which uh, greatly in increases the loading speed, but, you know... Um, that's not what we're here for. You can also see the USB drive which is now connected and if I go into there you can just see the files that are on there. Now, um, I'm going into the setup menu which is the F2 uh, button and this is the setup menu for the for the ultimate card. I don't know all the options um, but I did want to show you this one. Uh, the Commodore 64 and cartridge settings. If I go into that menu, you can see here the first option um, here is uh, it basically gives you a list of the cartridge that you want um, the thing to start up with. I've chosen the Action Replay version 6. There are PAL selections and NTSC collections. I'm not sure what they what they do. Uh, I did have a little play around with the uh, Turbo Assembler one which basically gives you an assembler, which is very cool. Uh, it allows you to, to program the thing in machine language, which is awesome. Um, but you know, using it, you know, without a manual, you have to sort of get used to that. So I'm not going to show all these things. Just the action replay is the one that's selected, uh, which means uh, when you turn the system on, you get the action replay card. Now, um, what I've done so far um what's uh, what's important to remember you know if uh, the goal is to um uh, to play a game of bruce lee then uh play the first level um and then uh, at the start of the second level freeze the game and save it so that we can reload it uh, and start from there that's what we're going to do so what we need is a storage device connected to the um uh, to the ultimate card, you can. I, I, I'm sure you can use the SD card as well, but I'm I'm using the uh, uh, the USB um, for that. Um, 
Now having the the ultimate connected doesn't mean that you have a disk in your drive. You know, you have to imagine that the thing is a virtual disk drive and uh, the disk drive doesn't come with a disk in it so you have to have one but it has to be virtual now so uh, there's an action menu if I press F5 you can actually say uh, create a D64 image and that will create an empty disk what you can also do is say insert a blank disk into drive A and that will just create a blank disk which will not have been saved so you have to save that um, what I'll do is I'll create a D64 image and it'll ask me for a name so I'll say uh, Brucey and it will create a D64 image now that means nothing more than we have a D64 image uh, on my USB drive which I could plug into a Vice emulator as well um, uh, but here it is the Brucey D64 image and if I press return here I can say mount disk now mount disk will say will mean that the the Commodore thinks that it has a disk drive which is the, the the ultimate card and it has a disk inside so if I go to the um, uh, I just pressed F7 to exit the menu and I, I it loads fast load I'm not sure if, uh, if I can what that means but uh, I I should have I should be able to now say uh, give me the directory of the disk that's inside which is the empty drive I list it and there it is there's my disk image it says Brucey okay cool so we have a disk drive we have a, an empty disk so we can save something because we want to save the uh, the game now here we go I'm pressing the middle button which will take me back in here now I'm going back to my uh, uh, no, go back to my SD card, uh, which will load the alphabet. I go to the B for Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, there we go. Uh, I press enter. Uh, I just keep pressing enter until it says uh, run. Yay, there we go. Now I'm just going to play the first level again. Um, there we are. It, with fast load, it actually loads a, a lot faster. And I'm gonna begin the game. Here we go. Yeah, da da, yeah, da da, Bruce Lee, bang bang. We're gonna get all the lamps. I've actually played the game now, um, and I have a feeling I'm, I'm I'm already almost at the end. And I can punch, punch, punch. You know, a little punching match. I can duck, too. See, this is pretty... We're not doing anything. Uh, the AI isn't uh, fantastic in this game. It's, it's a pretty easy game, actually. But still, wah, fun to play. Wah, there we go. Bad ninja. Yeah, ooh, see that? He's fat, but he can still move. There we go. Boom. Oh, run. Okay, so blah, blah, go to the third screen. It's basically sort of a little puzzle game. You have to get all the get all the um, the lamps and oh he kicked me in the air pretty cool and some uh, on some of the later levels it becomes sort of a puzzle you know where you have to go first and what you have to do to, to open the next door now door opens here we go and I go well, I'll just wait here now I'm pressing the left button left button will freeze the game now there's an option backup here. I'm pressing that and it'll load some of the backup code. That will take a while. And sometimes it fails too. It doesn't now. Okay. Um, and basically what I can do now is say disk save. So I'm, I'm saving and I, I, it just saves uh, the current state of the, of the memory to a file. So I'm, And I'm choosing the turbo one and there's a warp one and there's a standard one. 
I'm not sure what they all do, but uh, I've, I've tested this to work. I can give it a file name, so I'll say Bruce Lee, uh, and we'll call it level 2. Press enter, and it's saving. And again, and I, I can actually see the, um, uh, the, the light on the USB uh, drive flashing, so I know it's actually uh, writing something to the disk. Maybe I should put in some music here. Oh, press a key. It's done. Um, I press a key. What I can I can do? I think I can uh, I can restart the program. Press F. I see, and it, and it, it just goes back to there. And this is where I, the second level starts. Now I'm turning off the computer. Boom. And I'm turning it back on. It'll bring me back into the cartridge menu again. One, two, three, bang. Now, um, of course, I have to go back into the uh, into the card menu, go to the USB drive, find my Brucey disk, mount it, uh, which it will have done by now. I'll just say install fast load. It'll bring me to the prompt here, and I can load the directory for this um, disk and there will be files. There's my file, my, my Bruce Lee level 2 file. Now I can say load my Bruce Lee level 2 file and it'll start loading and if, if all goes well it'll it'll restore my game to where I left it. See it's loaded. The good thing about fast load, it, one thing, it's, it, it loads very quickly, but also it says where in the memory it's uh, loaded the actual data. So this address is the first address for the, uh, for, the, for the basic code, which is basically one line, line 10, and this is the command to say, well, start your uh, program from this address. So if you wanted to debug the program or look at the code, that is where you would go. I'm just going to run it now. And it should bring me back into the game. And there we are. So I've, I've, I've basically finished level one. And I can just start from level two here. Ta da Is that great or what? The ninja think so. Bang, bang, bang. It takes three hits with the, the old fist. Oh, he's pretty quick for a ninja. Oh, God. And one kick. Boo-hoo. Bang, bang. See, the Hulk isn't so strong. So um, that's basically what I wanted to show. I've also tested. Um, uh, oh, see that! What a good move. Uh, I, I've also tested, you know, uh, playing this and then doing the process again from this level, and that works. So uh, I'm pretty happy because that will mean that I can start doing playthroughs and saving them and uh, taking you all the way to the end of the game, while I hug the ground and let the enemies jump over me. If the fat guy was smart, he would just sit on me until I was dead. Uh, but he doesn't. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Boom.